Hello and welcome to the G27 Road Warrior with me, Movie Scouts 007, where we play Euro Truck Simulator 2 with a Logitech gaming wheel. So, um, you will notice a slight difference to uh, the broadcast, uh, well not the broadcast, the recording of this particular video. The microphone sounds ever so slightly better. That's because we bought ourselves a new microphone in light of the fact that the headset that we had, which we were using in our um, Avermedia Game Capture HD 2 uh, recording device, which required phono jacks, um, was absolutely appalling and gave the most awful echo in when plugged into the PC that we've got this lovely new PC. So we uh, invested in a uh, ProSound Dynamic uh, microphone and hopefully that means that the sound is better. Right, okay, let us, uh, let us um, see where we are. Um, so we're in Frankfurt. Uh, we have a discoverable to find. Um, and oh did we buy the garage i think we bought a garage on our way in didn't we? no no there's a garage so uh what we need to do yes reset navigation what we need to do is we need to go and repair and uh in fact that will take us to uh our discoverable so we're going to do that, let's drive, and then what we'll do is we'll get some rest, and then we will pick ourselves a destination. So, let's get ourselves settled. Pop ring gear. We can do a UE because I can see that the other exit is probably the much faster way for us uh, to leave this depot. So we're going to do that. Alright, so it's been a while since I've played Euro Truck. It's probably been a couple of weeks. Um, but that's been because I've been indulging in the uh, the joy that is um, American Truck Simulator. And, uh, I've, uh, I've been thoroughly enjoying that. I've not I'm um, um, I'm not abandoning. <coughs> oh well, <laughs> we're done now. Found ourselves a Mercedes dealership. Oh no, Iveco, Iveco, sorry. Where did I see Mercedes? Right, so let's service. Uh, see how much damage we did. So, uh, engine needs a 3% repair for £623, uh, transmission 2% at £155, chassis 6% at £1,112, cabin 4% for £2,205, and wheels 3% £145, giving a total bill of £4,239. So let's uh, repair away. Let's uh, escape from that. And let's go get some rest. And then we'll go and select ourselves a job. That's why I saw. I saw Mercedes over there. There is a Mercedes dealership of some description there. That's weird. It must be a car. All right. So, uh, engine off. And let's rest. And it's morning. Right, so uh, let's uh, find ourselves some work. Let's go to the job market. We're in Frankfurt. Uh, so let's remind the game that's where we were. And we can go to... Really? Is that the best we can do? Oh, root length, that's why. <laughs> right. 
so we can go to Latvia. Now, uh, Latvia is one of the new uh, parts of the games. So, um, uh, I remember, remember I was talking about uh, the, uh, the update to the game. The update to the game gave us seven new countries, which I couldn't remember. So they are... Uh, uh, they are uh, Latvia, uh, they're Lithuania, they are Moldova, uh, they are uh, Romania, and uh, uh, there's a bit of uh, Spain, and Andorra, uh, Ukraine, sorry. And Andorra, Andorra is there. It's a tiny little country. And the Ukraine, which is this thing here. Uh, so, it also gives 68 new cities spread over 16 countries, 5 major new city rebuilds, enhancements in Scandinavia, uh, up here, and uh, obviously nothing, probably, probably these little cities here, which are, I'm excited to discover. A full merge of Poland rebuilding. So uh, this is now a full part of Pro Mods, and um, they've also introduced compatibility enhancements with uh, Rust Map. So there's a lot of Russia in here now. Uh, new country-specific road markings applied on portions of the map, not all of it. Uh, uneven road surfaces, slippery icy roads, border stations, speed bumps, and many more features to explore. Now there is a compatibility list for some bizarre reason. I can't get to it. I'm logged in to the ProMods website. I right click on their full list of content and it just asks me to log in again. It opens it in a new, uh, it opens it in a new uh, folder, but it won't let me in. Anyway, so that's uh, neither here nor there. Oh gosh, I unclicked on uh, Frankfurt. So, vent spills in Lithuania. That's a 30 hour trip. Um, we have got 16 hours to go get it, but we're in uh, we're in uh, Frankfurt anyway, so it shouldn't really matter. But we're going to Latvia. We're going through Lith Lithuania, which means that we're also going through portions of Poland we've never been to. So, we're going to set that as our GPS destination. Oh, hang on. Do you know what I didn't do? I uh, didn't do my traditional. Uh, right, let's, uh, let's get that. Right, so let's, uh, let's go. Our load. Try and be careful while we're at it. Alrighty. Okay. Oh, here we go. I really do have to get my finger on the pulse of my gear changing. It's just, uh, it's not working. I'm still trying to gear change like I'm on a, in a, a race car, which is uh, just not the way to do it. Right. Oh, hello, stick on this side of the road. Right. Stable check is now. I think I'm and we're good. Another thing I keep forgetting to do is I keep forgetting to change down when I reach a junction. Uh, which is bad news. Whee. Oh god, here we go. Right, let's take that job. So let's go get our load. There it is. Alright, let's uh, swing round. Oh, why were you not... I was braking. I can assure you I was braking. And it wasn't. Let's 
hook up. Right, so. We're off in our lovely Volvo FH16, which looks beautiful. So, nothing coming. Uh, we don't need to worry about that, actually, now that I think about it. So, as much as I'm loving um, American Truck Simulator, I do absolutely oh, slow down, slow down. Uh, I do adore Euro Truck Simulator 2. I think it's still my um, uh, still my favourite game. So I'm just uh, just checking that I've got the wrap, the right map. Um, the right map uh, magnification Oops. so we seem to be on in a very deserted um, Frankfurt I haven't seen another bit of traffic which is interesting given it it's 10 oh there we go my traffic we traffic I was gonna say given it's 10 o'clock in the morning well nearly half past 10 in the morning I was wondering where all the traffic was so, we're going to one of the new countries, we're going to Latvia, that's excellent. Alright, the aim is to actually get there with an unmolested load. Let's uh, see if we can do that. We've already molested our truck, that's uh, got a 1% um, damage already, but thankfully the... Um, trailer wasn't attached at the time. So. Right, let's put the pedal to the metal so that we can join the road. And um Sadly, this is the lower part of the, the splitter, so we've only got 11th, which is irritating. Yeah. And I don't know what my, uh, my splitter is. Splitter button is. I don't know if I've even got it set. So that is not going to work for me. Let's get over. So I've got a feeling head over in a second. Right, let's slow down just a little so we get behind that. I've got a feeling, yeah, I can see. I've got the where the lane splits up. I need to be on this on this side, so. Um, so it's been uh, maybe a week and a half, two weeks since I, uh, I did my very, very short journey. Um, I uh, wanted to get that uh, recorded. Primarily because I just updated to uh, 2.0, but I still had my crappy microphone. In fact, that sounded worse because it was the first journey that was recorded. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Don't you, you scumbag! Oh my word, the AI! Oh my word, the AI! All right, so we're going to peel off towards Hanover Kessel and Erfurt. That's ugh. So let's get myself comfy. I haven't got myself comfy at this point. Let's drop a couple of gears. Just to uh, ensure that we can um, get around the corner without too much fuss. And also that we can speed up. Let's right. So I'm, I'm not got the ideal setup. The desk that I've got is very wobbly, not very secure, and not nearly big enough. And it's got a lot of obstacles in the way, preventing me from putting stuff where I need it to be. 
Um, there's a huge fat wedge which is in lieu of a leg, it creates a little sort of hidden shelving system underneath the desk, uh, which is actually more of an irritant than a help, you know, which means uh, it, I can't um, hook my gearbox a little bit further away, um, which is what I like. So essentially, when I'm in eleven, when I'm in six, when my um, when my Logitech gear is in sixth, I am. Um, oh God, let me out. There we go. Uh, when my Logitech gear is in the, in the sixth position, um, I'm rubbing my knuckle when I'm t turning with the steering wheel. Because it's uh, only gently, but enough that I can feel it, which is a bit of an irritant. Um, but you know, these are things that get sorted. They, um, I'm going to uh, rearrange this this office, this little study, which is essentially our third bedroom, but it's not really big enough to have a bed in it, so these, ten these things tend to be a study or a, or a child's bedroom. Um, uh, so um, let's get over. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting off here anyway. So Hanover, Hamburg, and Kassel. So when I see the one bar, which means 100 meters, and I'll start indicating. We'll drop a gear. So it's been a while, so I've forgotten how much our loan outstanding is, but I don't think it's much. It's quite funny, I watch a lot of gamers um, who play this on Twitch and on YouTube, and they pay off their loan. I, well, that's fine, but you're paying the interest anyway, so you might as well just let the loan eke out and you can use that money to um, to increase your empire. So you can see, I mean, our, our little empire is worth more than half a million pounds. Um, it's quite funny, actually. I've been, I've done seven consecutive journeys in America Truck Simulator now, and my brain is starting to think in dollars when I'm sat behind this wheel. So I'm actually having to force myself to say pounds. And it'll be the same when I play my next journey in American Truck Simulator. I will have to remember to say dollars. in my little short journey but you can see that my uh, screen is much wider than it was in the previous 39 journeys I think this is journey 41 and in the previous 39 journeys oh hello oh no it's just left it too late to come into this link the previous 39 journeys I was using my 12.9 screen which was my telly and before that I was using my my laptop monitor which was also a slightly different uh, orientation but I was you again the iPhone was recording in uh, I think 16.9 I'm not sure no actually it wouldn't have been 16.9 it would have been slightly smaller but this is 21.9 which is also known as ultra wide or super wide depending on which manufacturer uh, you are buying from this is an LG that I'm currently watching this game on, and they call it ultra wide. It's a 21.9 ultra wide. This is a 3440 by 1440, um, which is a slightly better 
resolution. A lot of the ultra wides are 3440 by 1080, uh, which is fine, but I don't think that's particularly useful. You t you end up with a slightly fuzzy resolution because you've all you're doing is instead of, of increasing the whole uh, size of the image, you're just increasing the the horizontal. All you're doing is increasing the, the horizontal resolution, you're not increasing the vertical resolution. And I think if you're going to increase the vertical resolution, you really need to increase the horizontal one as well in order to keep pace with the resolution of the, of the image as a whole. So I spent the extra couple of hundred pounds uh, to go with, because I think you can get um, a uh, 3440 by 1080 for about 360 pounds. This was 600 pounds. I think it was less than that. Actually, I think I got it in a deal, so I think it was 590 or something. Um, and that, to me, was a much better investment because it, it means that. I don't know, I have to get over as well because this, this lane is going to disappear. It's just a much better investment. I'm just mu much happier. Um, okay, bear with me a second. I need to pause. Right, I'm back. Uh, sorry about that. The the wife called. Um, <laughs> life keeps getting in the way of this game. Uh, okay, I have no idea what I was talking about before that all happened. Oh, I was talking about my monitor. Yes. Um, so I'm very happy with this. I don't think that YouTube is very happy with it. I don't think it's set up for 21.9. And all, and I've started using um, Adobe Premiere as my um, editing software that's not set up for 21.9 so at the moment what happens is I, in, I import the footage and it sticks black bars at the top and the bottom obviously this is something that will get sorted they will understand that people have got 21.9 um, and there will be an update to Premiere to, to make that, that but that will be too late for these videos but uh, I'm not going to wait for those to catch up, we'll just you know these videos will just have black bars, and you know that's a shame. And there's nothing I can do about that for the time being. But as soon as the rest of the world catches up to ultra wide, then these videos are going to be um, are just going to be gimped, like a widescreen movie used to be on DVD and VHS. So it's kind of like it's kind of like a throwback. But I don't want to not record in um, in 21.9 but it just doesn't make any sense. Uh, also, the, I've stopped using the Avamedia Game Capture HD to, to record my um, my PC gaming. My PC gaming is now being recorded using something called Shadowplay. Uh, uh, it only works if you've got an NVIDIA graphics card, which I have. I've got the 980 GTX, uh, the GTX 980 Ti. And because of that, it, allow, it allows the, um, the software uh, allows um, it. Sorry, English is clearly my second language today. The software is using the uh, the graphics card in a way that doesn't impact on the computer, which allows me to play the game without a significant drop in frame. And I think I'm only using like five frames or something a second um, uh, using the shadow play. And it just it's it records the footage straight. To PC, which is great because it means I just have to. It takes seconds to move it from the from the recording folder to the right folder um, for each of my gameplays, and it's it's um, it records at the the, the right uh, size frame rate resolution that I want. Obviously, when I import that into Premiere, I'm sort of slightly downgrading it for YouTube. Um, and also, uh, I've only got a four terabyte hard drive to save the stuff on, so I'm, I'm going to start running out of hard drive space at some point. So what I'm doing is, at the moment, I'm recording it onto the. Um, so let's get some fuel. I'm going to get some fuel because I've just spotted my fuel situation. So, engine off. And let's let's get some fuel. Um, oh, that's funny. 
the, the name on the back of that truck is the name of the company that I got most of my computer components from, ARIA. It's, um, it's a little company, a uh, little internet company that has a shop in, I think, Manchester. There we go. Uh, 1120, well, 1120.51 litres for 990 pounds at 0.88 a litre. Uh, I'm just going to quickly check out my sleep. Ah, oh, we're going to need sleep for ages. But, um, oh, hello. What did I, what's happened there? Oh, they paid my, they paid my fuel bill. That's what happened. That's what the ching was all about. Let's turn that off. Uh, yeah, it doesn't make sense to uh, to not have fuel. Um, do you know what? I, oh, I don't put my lights on, and I don't need my lights on, and that's why they're flashing at me because I'm blinding them. It is half past three. Income six thousand nine hundred forty-one pounds from Simone M. Thank you, Simone. Uh, we are rapidly approaching six hundred thousand pounds in the bank. Uh, it's one hundred and forty thousand pounds to buy a garage, so we're going to start. We, I think, we're at the point now where we're starting to make enough money to buy a garage every uh, city we stop at. We don't have to fill it just yet. We just have to um, just have to buy it because yeah, it's the one thing you actually physically have to visit in order to purchase. You can upgrade and you can fill it with drivers at a later date, but you can't buy it um, unless you actually physically visit it. So we're going to go and try and have... That's going to be our thing. We're going to be... Oh, hello. Excellent. He's getting out of our way. And we're going to try and buy all of the garages in the game. Now, some of them, that means that we're going to have to visit a lot of cities again. Because we have visited um, somewhere between 30 and 40 cities. Um, actually, it might be more because we've actually passed through some and we've discovered them by passing through them. So we've probably discovered, discovered f at least 40 to 50 cities now that I think about it. And a lot of them we haven't bought the garage in. I think we've only got four or five garages, I see London, um, we definitely have Berlin, I think, mean. oh do you know what, we didn't buy Frankfurt, I'm an idiot, I'm an absolute idiot, too late now, <laughs> we'll have a garage in now, uh, do we have Berlin, do we have Berlin? Pretty sure we have Berlin. Hmm. Okay, the Stokes fan, the Stokes lorry is getting on my l last nerve. Although he's probably sticking to the speed limit, which is 60. Yeah, he is, so we will let him off. Um. That's quite funny. I am very much used to the size of the, the trucks in the uh, in Europe. The trailers are sh are a, a, a certain length, usually a standard length, and the, the tractor is flat at the front. Like you, you can virtually drive up to the window. And then I'm playing American Truck Simulator where they've got a huge nose, and I keep forgetting because I've done. Uh, I've played this game for, I think it's, crikey, I forget how many hours, it's hundreds, hundreds of hours, I think it might be 200 hours I've played this game for, because so I've played this playthrough, I've played the Keyboard Road Warrior playthrough, and I've played a personal playthrough. To level 38 on that. I think I'm up to level 34 or 35 on the keyboard road warrior. That's good. Right turn here. Look at 
got a horrible feeling we probably would have missed that turn off had we not been following Mr. Stokes. Motorway, which is good news. That means we can put the pedal to the metal. Um, do you know there's a number of things that irritate me, but one of the things that irritates me is when people miss, say, uh, miss say sayings. I've heard people say pedal to the metal, as in, you know, a decoration for valour. And it annoys the hell out of me because that's not what it is. It's pedal to the metal. It means the, the metal at the back of the footwell. That is what the expression actually means. So why would you say that? Do you know the thing um, I've um, that's helping my driving actually is that I finally um, on this PC I've, I've got the, um, the rotation set right. I've got the 900 degrees of rotation which is what was missing from this. That's why my driving was so twitchy, was because um, small movements were um, making, va uh, small movements of the wheel were making vast movements of the steering. All right, we got past Mr. Stokes, so we, we, can, uh, we can go for it, let's get back over. So we're not irritating. Very thirsty, I'm using drinking a lot of water. Okay. Uh, we are limited at 80, but we're doing 90. Oh, sorry, we're supposed to be limited. And the speed limit's 80, but we're doing 90. Well, okay, fine. 90 kilometres an hour is fine by me. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, yes, another one, um, there's a whole bunch of sayings that are missaid, which annoy the living daylights out of me. And now that I want to talk about it, I've forgotten them. <laughs> Always the way. I, um, I used to sit down with preparation, I used to have a little piece of paper, but these, um, particularly when I was doing the Keyboard Road Warrior, because it was a new series, most of the people, they, they, it was the first time I was talking about any given subject. I could sort of write the thing down and then write a few notes and I'd be fine. And also, this was when I was, work, was in New Zealand and I wasn't working. I was, I was a kept man for a year. Um, of course, now I'm working and I'm working. Uh, I'm, I, uh, I'm working. I start very early, um, so when I get home, I'm quite tired, which usually means that I have to have a little nap before the wife gets home so that when the wife gets home I uh, I can stay up with her um, because she works more normal hours I start uh, I leave the house at half past, uh, quarter to six she leaves the house at half past seven I start at seven she starts at half eight um, so she gets like an extra hour in bed I get up at quarter past five, she gets up at quarter past seven. Or oh, quarter past six, sorry. Um, and all that. Oh, hello. No, we're not going to clash with him. I'm going to let him undertake us. And then we'll move over. No, 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 no. Uh, 
I am crap with GPSs. I'm crap with GPSs in real life. I'm much better with a map. Give me a map and then a set of instructions. So, uh, exit at junction 15, uh, head up B6502. Uh, you know, I'm much better with stuff like that. GPS has just confused the hell out of me. I nearly went wrong there. is obviously uh, the eastern side of Germany, if you know your geography. We were in Frankfurt, which is sort of central western Germany. Um, and um, Yeah, east, eastern Germany. If, um, if you know your history, you'll know that... But, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, my word. Um, you'll know that Berlin was divided during uh, the... Um, during the uh, between the um, between the late 40s and the early 90s to mid, mid 90s I forget when the war came down but what happened was they when the Allies defeated uh, the Nazis in World War two um, they divvied up um, the capital city of Berlin between the Germans, uh, sorry, between the Russian section, the British section, the American section, and the French section. So these four countries got to control a part of the capital of Germany. Um, the Russian section got siphoned off, um, and then uh, in the 50s it got war, or so was it 60s? It got walled up. They put a wall up. Um, the Berlin Wall, um, and uh, actually. Um, Russia had a huge chunk of Germany which became East Germany and Berlin the western sections of Berlin got sort of surrounded by East Germany so there was West Germany and you had a bit of West Berlin which you had to fly into which was utterly bizarre so for the entirety of the separation of East and West Germany West Germany's capital became Bonn, which is sort of south, e uh, southwest Germany, and Berlin remained the capital of East Germany, but there was a huge chunk of it which was Western, which you know, and there was a uh, emergency flights to bring food and clothes in. Actually, how are we doing for? Let's 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 go in. Let's take a rest. So, 43 hours should take us 21, so where's the rest stops? Let's go around. Let's go around the back. So, can we pop our little truck? Hey, let's, let's stick it in there. Right then, so engine off, parking brake on, and let's have a rest. Alright, engine on, parking brake off, let's put our lights on. Let's just double check, we're not going to run into anything good. towards Poland if we're not already there. Uh, yes. So, um, I can't remember where we got on to East and West Germany. That would have been good to know. <laughs> Oh, we're over six hundred thousand pounds, which is good. Actually, while we were rested, it would have been nice to actually have checked the bank out to see what our financial situation was. Let's see if we can do that quickly. No, 
Yep, yeah, let's see if we can do that. Bank. Oh, we have one payment. One payment. One payment, and then we are finance free. That is wonderful news, as far as I'm concerned. Ah, right, okay, we are heading towards Poland, because that's the German flag that our little minimap has, a uh, little blue triangle on our minimap has just crossed, and you'll see the uh, Polish flag. Ironically and irritatingly enough, the Polish flag is the same as the Monaco flag, and it's the same as the flag of a nation, I think in Southeast Asia, I can't remember which particular one, but three nations use uh, 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 that flag. White uh, stri stripe at the top, red stripe at the bottom. And it just irritates the living daylights out of me that um, you know, you can't all have the same flipping flag. Right, now we're in Poland, which means that it's going to be Toll City Europe. Uh, but we're on our left, we're in the left lane, which is good, which means that we will be less likely to be hit by vehicles trying to get in. And it's been a while since I've gone to a toll. Right. So, that was a freebie, okay, fair enough. What's the point in toll if it's a freebie? Uh, I haven't seen... I think they, they may well have uh, addressed that business with the crashing at uh, tolls, because I haven't seen that crashing at tolls business for quite some time. Um, yes, so... Uh, um, yes, yeah, Germany, East Germany, Berlin. I, do you know what? I cannot remember what the hell we were talking about. And why <laughs> the splitting of Berlin came up. Um, oh, but um, that's because I think we might have been because we were driving past. Oh, it was the various orientations of everything. Yeah, Frankfurt's uh, sort of central or oh, south central Germany, south central baby, uh, and um, and Berlin is north east. Um, actually, I think I'm going to Ber to visit Berlin on holiday in at the end of March um, as I, I'm recording this it is the 15th of February so in about a month in about a month and a half I will be in Berlin it's a city that I've wanted to visit to uh, visit for a while it's beautiful I want to touch the um, the remaining bit of the Berlin Wall, as as you do. Uh, there's an island uh, in the in the middle of the river um, that cuts Berlin in in well not in half, but it cuts through Berlin, uh, and it's just got full of it's full of museums. I want to see um, uh, Checkpoint Charlie. I want to visit the Potsdamer Platz. Uh, I want to see any of the sort of the Nazi stuff because uh, we should never forget that. And um, yeah, Berlin is on one. It's on my list of places to visit. I've got loads of places I want to visit. I've been to Munich already, uh, so I've been to Germany, uh, I've been to Austria, um, but Berlin obviously is the capital. Germany and so I do want to visit I wouldn't mind actually taking in a game of football but unfortunately Berlin is is not the city to do that in Germany uh, if you're going to visit to watch football in Germany you want to go to Munich or Dortmund or maybe uh, let's see where else has got a good football team Wolfsburg they've got a pretty good football team. Yeah, so Berlin is not the place to do it. I would love to go to Dortmund to visit um, the Borussia Dortmund Stadium. Given that I'm a colossal Liverpool fan, visiting uh, Dortmund would be good. Given that, um, in addition, sorry, <laughs> given I've said given twice, primarily because um, our current manager had a very successful spell with Borussia Dortmund for seven years, including winning uh, two back, uh, winning back-to-back -back German titles, winning the German Cup 
in one of those years, so he he won the cup, the league cup double. He got to the Champions League final the year it was in Wembley against uh, was it Real Madrid, I think. Sadly lost, but um, so yes, I would love to. And that stadium looks amazing. It's an eighty thousand seat stadium, and it's full every week. That's great. I would love to visit that. Oh, hello. My clutch control still sucks in this game a little bit. Particularly, actually, in reverse. When I'm doing the parking, um, my clutch control really sucks. So, £39. See, that makes more sense. You have a toll booth, you pay a toll. Seems like they must have sorted that business out because I, don't, I haven't seen a crash in the last two toll booths, and I was seeing them every time I went to a toll booth. I was seeing uh, a crash where the, those two lanes merge. So we're doing all right. We are remaining f quite sensible. We're on the A2 in Poland. Mm -hmm. Now we're near Poznan. And Ruklow is to the right. We're not going to Ruklow though. We've, we've been to Ruklow, you can see that by the fact that the junction is yellow. So we've been... Actually we haven't been to Ruklow that way. We've been through this way, which means we must have gone to Rucklow another way. Oh, I love the random skid marks where someone's come on to the motorway and they've come on too hot and they've had to really pump the brakes to get them to stop. <laughs> ah, hang on. We've, I wonder if we've been to Rucklow and we have... They've just redone that road. Because I'm looking at this toll, toll booth it doesn't look like we've been to this toll yeah we haven't been to this toll booth yeah I'm betting we've been to Rocklow that way it's just they've redone that road and when they when they modders or SCS redo a road you have to drive down it again uh, to uh, to collect it oh I didn't do that very well alright that was free again doesn't make sense don't understand that but there you go ugh gears Speed limit 70. We're about to kick the crap out of that. And now it's national speed limit. So we'll probably get a speed limit of 80. Yep, there you go, 80. Um, if you're curious as to how I know what the speed limit is without looking... Well, you saw the road signs, but also... Um, the in the GPS bottom left hand corner above the word the letters ETA you'll see 80 in a white circle surrounded by a red ring that is a speed limit that's how we denote speed limits in Europe with a white background and a red circle um, in, in continental Europe it's in kilometers in the United Kingdom it's in miles per hour So, um, this is Journey 2 in ProMods 2.0, which um, I'm loving. I'm loving all those extra countries. I'm loving the fact there's a little bit of Spain in there. Um, finally, we're getting a bit of Spain. Um, eh, I say that with no malice, because they've had to go all the way through the, bit, the huge chunk of France that SES couldn't be bothered to map in order to get to the border of Spain so that we can drive in Spain. So, oh hello, tree in the road, interesting. Um, so yes, kudos, immense kudos to ProMods. Um, I can never say enough good things about uh, ProMods and their, and their mapping. Um, without them, this game would be a fraction of what it is. It really would. It's to their eternal credit. Oh look, you see a helicopter passing through the top of the windscreen. 
the view of the floating screen. I've not seen. I don't remember ever seeing a helicopter before. I wonder if that is an addition um, because of pro mods, or is that something that SCS? It's one of the things I don't know enough. I don't know enough. I don't pay enough attention to the uh, release notes. Um, in fact, I don't think I ever really read the release notes. I just whack the thing in and want to play it straight away. It's one of the reasons why when um, in the last uh, game when I wanted to tell everyone about 2.0 and ended up telling nobody anything about 2.0, um, I didn't know what was what. I should check out those release notes, I really should. I'm not 100% certain that, S that Promod's put release notes in. I think they put a readme, but I think it's more to do with how to install than it is to inform us to what's in there which would really be a, a good idea. <laughs> so, um, yes. What was I talking about before the helicopter? God, the Alzheimer's is really kicking in. Um, yes, so... Um, Yes, Berlin is, I've remembered, Berlin is our uh, next holiday. I haven't had a holiday since uh, we came, uh, since Crete. Went to Crete uh, in, uh, let's see, May last year. So, yeah, almost a year. I haven't had a holiday. So, so this will be my, oh, we're having two holidays this year. We're having, um, we're having a, um, three or four days in Berlin, so a city break in Berlin, and we're going to the 2016 British Grand Prix, we've already got our tickets for that. So that's actually, in, even though that's only Friday evening to Sunday evening, that is in fact the most expensive holiday we're having this year, it's £800 for the two of us. We've paid for it because we're responsible. We don't get it on the credit. Well, you get it on the credit card to get the payment protection, but then immediately pay it off, which is what you really should do. So, um, oh look, a lovely combine harvester. So I, um, I only noticed the combine harvester because I'm actually playing not on my PC, but on my PS4 I'm playing Farming Simulator 2015, which is fun. It's okay. It's, um, it's not... Um, it's not blowing my skirt up, but it's but it's 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 you know it's entertaining. It's not blowing my skirt up in the way that say Grand Theft Auto V had or um, um, Uncharted or <laughs> Euro Truck Simulator 2 or even American Truck Simulator for that matter. But um, oh, another toll booth. So we think we're still in Poland. I think we're still in Poland. Um, but uh, t talking of Borussia Dortmund and Liverpool, as we were, oh god, 10, 15 minutes ago, I can't remember now. Um, oh, hello, no, I didn't want to do that. £58 hole paid, I turn the engine off instead of hitting the enter key. I've got a button on the gearbox of the G27, and um, there's one for enter. Let's do that because otherwise he's going to crash into me and his crappy Skoda. Oh, come on, put your foot down, dude. Put your foot down. I've got to stop saying dude. It feels very disingenuous, particularly with my accent. It just sounds ridiculous saying dude. I say dude. <laughs> One is miffed at, 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 uh, at one's fellow road companions. Dude. <laughs> I am often. I, I was mocked at school for my posh accent, which is quite bizarre, given that I'm actually from Liverpool. So, um, but I actually, although I lived in Liverpool at the beginning of my life, I actually really picked up my accent in Oxford, which is where this sort of what they call the, the BBC accent or received pronunciation. Um, that's what that accent, that's where that accent's actually from, it's sort of um, that part of the world. Oh, look at all these new roads that I've never been on. Oh, look at that. 
All those new bridges I've never seen before. Look at that. Oh, this is all beautiful and this is all new and it all looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm so excited. Have they had an accident or is that main? Oh, there might have been a little accident there. Well, that might just be part of the um, the fabric of the game. That, however, is people waiting to join this lane. Uh, is it narrowing? I thought for a horrifying second I was going to be stuck in the wrong lane but it turns out that this wonderfully is a construction site and they've divvied stuff up with lanes to sort of keep people separated oh this is amazing <laughs> start of the toll road keep the ticket oh that is wonderful oh SCS I love uh, sorry Pro mods, I love you. That is just beautiful. I absolutely love it. Oh, you swipe. Oh, good. Sticking his foot down. Putting its pedal to the metal. To the metal. I uh, wish I could remember all of these sayings that, uh, that irritate me all the time. That uh, I keep getting missaid. I will make a point of writing them down as soon as I finish this because I, yeah, because I know what will happen the second I've I've hit the put the end the, the record button to to stop the recording. I will remember everything that I was trying to remember. Now it's the way it works. It's the way it always works. So we are. All right, for we still got um, nearly just under uh, twelve minutes under six hours before we've got to rest. We've got thirty and a half hours to deliver, and it should take fifteen and a half. So we are going to have to have another rest, and I think when we hit nine hours, we will do just that. We will have a rest. Or we will start searching for a rest stop. So we've still got a significant chunk. We've got about half the journey left to do. Uh. Ah. So yes, uh, Liverpool Football Club, my beloved Liverpool Football Club. Apologies if you're not into football or you support another team. Um, uh, good for you. Excellent. Uh, there have to be other teams for Liverpool to beat. Um, but my beloved Liverpool have been having quite a torrid time of late. Um, picked up very few points since January. We've had a colossal number of injuries. Today, uh, sorry, not today, Sunday. Today's Monday, but yesterday they played Aston Villa. Aston Villa used to be a great team. They've, they won the Champions League once. Spotted that turn off just in time. Um, they won the Champions League once um, in the 80s, I think it was. So then they used to be a giant, they used to be pretty good, but they are awful. In fact, they've been getting worse and worse and worse. They are owned by an American called Randy Lerner. Uh, I'm sorry, but if your name is Randall and you choose deliberately to be referred to as Randy, then you deserve all the mocking that's coming your way. Um, he's not putting any money into the club. They keep firing managers. They, you know. Oh, we've discovered Warsaw, apparently, even though I've been to Warsaw in the game already. Interesting. <laughs> that means they've made some changes to Warsaw. Uh, uh, probably to connect. Uh, it's probably actually that bit that we've just been through with all of the bridges and the construction. That's brand new. So probably connecting that has meant that we've lost the connection to Warsaw. We've also been to Bialystok. I bet you we've got to rediscover Bialystok. Um, 
See, we've been here. You can see the roads are all yellow, Go uh, golden. Sorry, because yeah, demonstrating that we've been here before. So, uh, oh, she's turned our lights off. We don't need the lights on anymore. It's, it's properly daylight. It's nine in the morning. Half past nine in the morning. Um, it's been wonderful in that we've managed to mostly have daylight through this particular journey, which is good. Which is a good sign. Um, not made much money though. I haven't heard much money coming in, which is which is either a good thing because it means they're on long journeys, or it's a bad thing because they can't find any jobs and, and they've come back from a long journey with no return job, which is going to cost us a fortune. Um, where was I? Oh, so yes, Liverpool. Um, played Aston Villa at Villa Park, which is their ground. And uh, we didn't just beat them. We absolutely humiliated them 6-0. Six different scorers. Uh, Daniel Sturridge, uh, James Milner, uh, Nathaniel Klein, Emery Chan, uh, Colo Torre, and one more. I forgetting who am I forgetting forgetting someone else midfielder I think but six goals um, a lot of the fans started walking out of the ground uh, that's the Villa fans started walking out of the ground with 20 minutes of the match still remaining I know that guy's going to pull out on me stuck behind a coach is the reason we're travelling so slowly <laughs> uh, so yes my, my beloved Liverpool um, now my wife supports and her family supports Southampton and over the course of the last two months Southampton have put together a good run of wins and they are now ahead of Liverpool um, I think we uh, moved up to ninth I think Southampton are in seventh or eighth this is a topsy-turvy year. Um, Leicester City have been at, top, at the top of the league almost exclusively since Christmas. Now, given that Leicester City were very, very nearly relegated, please, please, speedy. Uh, um, the previous season, um, to go from nearly being relegated to the division below to then um, potentially becoming winners of the league is an astonishing turnaround. Um, but it's not just it's not just that. Uh, in second place is Tottenham Hotspur. Third place is Arsenal. Now Arsenal, you'd expect to be in the top four. And I think we've got Manchester City. But Manchester United, who have been the powerhouse of Premier League football for the last 16 years, 17 years. Um, let's slow down because that guy is not cut, not doing the business. Where are you going, Sunshine? Um, Manchester United have just been in the wilderness, completely in the wilderness, and I don't, you know, it's it's as a Liverpool fan, it's amusing because Manchester United are, are probably until recently were our were our main nemesis. We've added Chelsea to that. To be honest, I hate Chelsea and Manchester City more than I hate Man United now. I, th I kind of feel sorry for the Man United and their fans, given that the Glazer family have come in and they've completely screwed the club over. They bought the club by putting the club into £700 million worth of debt. So basically they borrowed the money against the club's assets and value. Which is kind of like me going in and buying your house, but putting the mortgage in your name. So if I buy your house, but I put the mortgage in your name, and then I fail to pay, you're screwed. So that's kind of what they've done to Manchester United. Now, they're paying off the debt, primarily because Manchester United have, until recently, been amazingly successful. And have been able to sell a lot of shirts. They've earned a lot of money in sponsorship deals. They do very lucrative uh, 
Asian and American tours during the close season and um, the Premier League just recently signed a massive five million pound a five billion pound deal um, for TV rights Ooh, crack, I nearly missed that um, which means that um, they have been continually let off the hook by Manchester United's history and its current financial dealings which it has to be said have got nothing to do with the Glazer family but rather the, the, the um, this the, what's in place already God, I need to, I need to tip that over into the uh, in, I thumped into the depot where I, I picked, uh, one of the buildings in the depot when I picked up the load yeah, I, I swear I pushed the, the, uh, the pedals um, so it's been it's, it's a topsy-turvy league like Aston Villa are actually I mean the 6-0 isn't really something to be very really that proud it's kind of like bullying because they're bo Aston Villa are bottom of the league they are a, a team that's won the Champions League. They've won the league. They've been a big club. I mean, of, uh, in the last ten years, they 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 could be described as a mid-table club, which is what Liverpool are in danger of becoming. Um, if you don't if you don't maintain your league status and your league position, it becomes very difficult to attract big name players. Liverpool still have a certain cachet, given that they're five-time European champions. They're eight-time League Cup winners. I think they're six or seven-time FA Cup winners. I mean, we've got a rich history, and we've had some incredible players pull on the red jersey uh, with the live bird. But um, we are not the team we used to be. We really are not. As a result, it becomes more and more difficult to attract the kind of players that you really want to be playing for you. So, I mean, we were in, uh, in summer break for a guy called Alexi Sanchez, who performed marvellously at the World Cup in 2015. Um, but he decided he would rather play at Arsenal. Well, that's fair enough. I think a lot of I think one of the problems that big clubs outside London face is that they're not London, and everyone seems to want to live in London because there's a perception that London is the place, is the only place. Oh, loan installed and paid. We are loan free, baby. We are loan free. We no longer have to pay any loan installments. I mean, there were only 4,000 a day anyway, but all the income we're earning is ours to spend exactly as we please without having to worry about keeping money for loan installments. <coughs> So now we just got to wait for that red light. <laughs> That's beautiful. I love the fact that they've included dirt, which is brilliant. Because when these diggers come off the dirty road, that they make that. God, I mean, I guess they're sort of fixing. They're f ah, they're putting piping in. You can see the big piping behind the moving digger. Um, they're putting piping in. Oh, that's what the game wants us to think they're doing, is they're putting piping in, and while they're digging, those diggers are going across wet dirt. Oh, that's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. I love it. I'm going to overtake this guy because he's poodling on. Oh, no, do you know what? The second I try to do that, he puts his foot down. Oh, 959 pounds from carrying a D, so up to 615,000 uh, pounds. So, let's go that way. Let's just double check. There's nothing coming. 
So we're having a better journey. Uh, I can still screw it all up because I still have 11 hours left of this journey to do. So I can I can potentially still screw it up. Uh, there was a police van, so that was a speed trap, but um, I don't know that they actually said that. I was doing 74 kilometers an hour. I'm doing 81 now, so I'm definitely speeding because the speed limit is 70. This is a lot more forgiving than American Truck Simulator. Although I did see They've added, in American Truck Simulator, they've they added the W900, the Kenworth W900, but they've also instigated a few changes. They've lowered the fines at lower levels for speeding, but they've also um, given you a bit of leeway on the speeding. And they've also, they've also um, promised to instigate some changes to the AI, because the AI are a bit jumpy, and they, and they do crash into you. My, um, my, I did a journey seven of American Truck Simulator. Uh, the Stateside Road Warrior is my American Truck Simulator series. In journey seven of the Stateside Road Warrior, I was driven into by another truck, and it cost me eighteen hundred dollars, one thousand eight hundred dollars. That was about a quarter of my bank balance wiped by by someone else crashing into me. And I'm not at the stage where I'm, I mean, I'm only £46,000 for this journey. The most I'm getting out of the stateside warrior journeys is about two to $3,000, which is about £1,500. So, um, yeah. When you have a crash or you break, you, if you get a speed fine, it's very, very painful at the, uh, the lower levels. to let me know that shadow play is recording there's a little green dot on the bottom right hand side of my screen now you don't see that that it doesn't record that that's just for my information but every now and again I just double check that that little green dot is full and not empty just to reassure myself that it's recording because the last thing I want to do is spend uh, sort of two hours chatting to you guys and have not recorded it, any of this game and then not be able to redo that journey not to mention the fact that I'll have wasted two hours for a, you know, a journey that I will have to redo. And, uh, you know, I haven't got much time. I am a family, well, I am a, a, a husband and we've got a new house. Really, I should be spending this time doing things like fixing uh, curtains up. But, you know. <sighs> really? Oh, hello. Yeah, an hour and a half. Got nine hours, so yes, I really want to be fine. Uh, we're about on what I the schedule I said I wanted uh, about nine hours. I wanted to um, be looking for a rest stop, so we've got an hour and a half to find one. We should be all right. Ooh, a new city. Will we get close enough to it to discover it? I do, you know. Um, yeah, but what we really need is just to rest. Uh, and we have this world cap. Ah, 
here's a rest stop. Do you know what? I might, I might take this rest stop. mean that the last part of the journey is going to be in uh, at night. funny um, that is pro mods because they don't because uh, SCS do not have the license uh, from McDonald's to put their name in the game um, I know this because you look at American Truck Simulator and where McDonald's should be they've got raised burgers so it's very clear that that is a pro mods thing Um, so yes, um, I, yes, I, uh, I do panic a little, make, well not panic, I do have a momentary, uh, I want to say palpitation, just, yeah, have I remembered, because I, uh, yeah, my, uh, my memory is not what it should be, and I'm seriously thinking about going to the doctor about my memory, actually about my hearing as well, I am quite an old chap. I'm not really. <laughs> I'm not that old. Right, so we're leaving Poland. And I don't know what flag that is. Is that. Oh, I'm embarrassed enough to say I don't know what that flag is. It's not Romania. Is it Latvia? It might be Latvia. We might actually be entering Latvia. So, um, so yes, uh, Liverpool uh, seem to be uh, one minute they're beating Manchester City and they're beating uh, Chelsea by large scores, they're beating Southampton 6-1 and then the next minute they are throwing away a 2-0 lead against Sunderland and they're losing to Manchester United, they're losing three times out of four to West Ham United, in fact I think we, don't, we didn't beat West Ham this, this season. Played them home and away in the league and lost both games. We played them home and away in the FA Cup and we drew at home and lost away. So uh, I think we lost to Leicester, which we can, which I can forgive, given that Leicester are beating everybody and our league leaders. I think that's forgivable. Losing to Arsenal, you know, it's throwing away uh, a lead against Manchester City. It's just, um, 
it's, yeah, it's a topsy-turvy season and I'm not 100% certain I'm comfortable with it. But, that said, the reason that we have a new man we got a new manager in October is because the previous manager wasn't cutting it. He's a lovely chap and he got so close to winning Liverpool's first league title in 25, 26 years. Oh, apologies, sneezing. Um, but, close and no cigar. And it was the one thing that Steven Gerrard, our best, the best player that's ever played for Liverpool, in my opinion, it's the one thing that was lacking in his club. His one thing that was really lacking in his club uh, medal uh, cabinet was a Premier League title, Premier League medal. He never won it. He never got to win it. We blew it at the last minute. discovered uh -huh. yeah I did that I did that um, that uh, on ramp far too quickly was going far too fast so uh, we discovered uh, we also Kaunas and the place whose name begins with S that I forget which means that we can actually fast travel to them uh, later on in the game when we just need to, f to drive up little particular bits of road which is which will be ultimately will be what we end up having to do in order to get 100% map 100% of the map We're getting closer to our destination. This has been quite a journey. And it's been an hour and a half, at least. Maybe more. in line with American Truck Simulator adding different sort of patches and textures to the road. Little dry spots and dimples and shading where the road isn't quite perfect. Which is realistic, it's how roads look. Uh, 
So yes, um, I mentioned about 10, 20 minutes ago that I hate Manchester. Oh, hello. There's an accident. A car ploughed into a, a telegraph pole. <laughs> it's just those little beautiful touches that just that just make the game. They they make it that just that little bit more special. Um, so yes, I mentioned about 20 minutes ago that I no longer hate Manchester United um, in quite the same way that I used to, and now my ire is directed at Chelsea and Manchester City. I should explain why that is. Manchester City and Chelsea have both acquired ex unfathomably, unimaginably wealthy owners. And what this has done is it's upset the balance um, of power in uh, football. It means that teams that were awful, like I mean Chelsea uh, returned to the, the league in the 80s. They were, they were relegated in the 80s. Manchester City in the 90s relegated. They were not, they're not the teams they are now and that they um, and it means, it means thing, irritating things like that Liverpool won the Champions League in 2005 and in the following year Chelsea got more money for finishing lower than Liverpool, that, you know, they got more money for not qualifying, not making the final than Liverpool got for winning the whole damn thing and it's just... That's, that's wrong. I understand the rationale, but I think it's wrong. I understand why they think the rationale is right, but they're wrong. If you make it to the final of the Champions League, you deserve all the money that you earn. These roads are relatively empty. I wonder if that is a uh, feature of Latvia. Maybe um, people don't drive. I mean, these roads are quite good. I don't know whether that's the game. But there aren't many cars on them. Is that because people can't afford cars? Which doesn't. Which sounds like nonsense to me. People find a way to afford cars. Uh, a slow-moving bus. What joy. Can we make it past... did. We made it past. Look at all these wonderfully impossible for a, an Englishman to pronounce names. They're fantastic. I do love them. Oh, um, now, when I've finished uh, with this, um, we're we talking quarter past seven. I am probably going to do a journey in America Truck Simulator. That should take me about 20 to 30 minutes. So today on the 15th, so that'll be journey 8. And then um, my evening is going to be editing. So um, I've been trying to catch up. So I've been putting a lot of videos up between... I did, a, I did one a day every day um, in the run-up to Christmas. And then we lost the internet for two months. Um, I was essentially, basically, I launched as many as. Oh, hello! What the, what the heck? Oh, got confused there by the road markings. Um, yeah, so um, I launched, a, I, I uploaded a whole bunch, like 20 journeys to YouTube, and then um, uh, I put a few up, and then in, we lost the internet at the end of November, and in a run up to Christmas in the 20 day, 20. I think I stopped doing it the day before Christmas Eve. So in the run up to Christmas, I was at work. I was, um, um, I was um, making the videos live on a daily basis, at least one a day. And then, um, then I ran out of videos and uh, uploaded. So um, what I was, uh, so I had to wait until I got the internet back, which we didn't get back until. 9th of January, so I was without, we were without the internet for 39 days, which just sucked so 
so bad you don't realise quite how much you use the internet until you can't. And uh, luckily, um, when I got my iPhone 6, I got a, a package that gave me 10 gigabytes of data every month. But boy, did I start to chew through that. Um, I couldn't. I couldn't watch YouTube videos. In fact, I couldn't watch any video. I couldn't watch iPlayer. I couldn't, I couldn't watch Netflix. Couldn't watch anything. Um, because it just used too much data. Um, um, I couldn't do. You know. I mean, I was. I was relying on. I was relying on my mobile phone for everything. For email. For. Um, for keeping in touch with people. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we are not in Latvia. I think that might be Moldova. And we are in, yes, we're entering Latvia now. Latvia is the two very dark red stripes sandwiching the white stripe. Um, can get flashed. Flashed again, right? So slow down. If we've got a, we're in a, a, we're in a village, and speed limit's 50 and B. We're about to hit a roundabout, which we can't do too fast. I will damage. Look at pedestrians. I can't remember seeing pedestrians in quite a while. Riga, which is the capital of Latvia. I was very careful there because I didn't want to clout the road sign, but I was also paying attention to the back of the truck as well, making sure I didn't drive too far over the corner of the road, because that causes damage to the load. And we are honing in on our final destination. I am very worried that the audio on this isn't going to be loud enough. And if I'm shouty, I do apologise, it's just I'm paranoid because I can't hear the audio of my voice. It's one of the ways that I've, uh, one of the things I had to do in order to stop the echo on the recording is to stop pass-through. Pass-through means that it goes through, it picks up the audio from the microphone and then sends that back. Um, and sends it back up the headphones and I can't do that, it just, it just, um, it, that's partly responsible for the echo. I don't know whether it's because the microphone is picking up the, um, the no, it can't be because the microphone is picking up. It's not that sensitive. But the other problem that with that is that I can hear my voice like a fraction of a second after I'm speaking, which means that um, it makes me sound quite. Uh, it, it makes me sound like I've got a problem. Is what it makes is is what it is um, because I'm hearing uh, myself. After, oh, look, nine thousand and fifty-one pounds from Yan. Well done, Yan. You pulled us up to six hundred and fifty-nine thousand, which is amazing. Uh, oh, hello. That wasn't good. Stopped indicating, which I hate people do. Yes. Um, yeah, so I was hearing my own voice. I was hearing what I'd said a fraction of a second after I'd said it, which is confusing. It does weird things to your brain and it makes you speak like that and elongate things and you spend more time concentrating on the thing you're saying than the actual act of saying, more time on the actual act of saying than you do on. Sorry, I should stop doing that. I demonstrated it long enough. <laughs> you spend more time thinking about the act of talking than you do about what it is that you're actually saying, which actually just totally destroys any coherent conversation. It's a real struggle not to sound incredibly stupid. Please don't crash 
happening to me? I should have stopped and looked. Allows me to talk uh, at a normal volume. Um, so uh, yes. Uh, a right turn here. Vent spills. That's the first sign I've seen for our actual destination. beams quite proud of this journey I've observing the road, I've been observing the, the GPS for the most part. I managed to do that, uh, that parking in Poland without clattering anything. game away we're on a main road we can do 90 if we really want and if we can we will do that although not at this roundabout let's bring it down a little there's nothing coming so I like I like the way they, they flash yellow and white to um, let us know we shouldn't drive down. <laughs> Let's crash into The nice thing about clattering into those is that you don't actually damage your truck or your load when you do that. However, reversing from them usually involves backing into another vehicle, which inevitably means that you damage the load because it's the load you hit the other vehicle with. Uh, what time is it in the game? It's 6am and we're an hour away so we'll actually probably be parking at 7am which means it's probably it's probably going to be daylight when we pull into Ventispils. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm almost certainly not pronouncing it correctly. But it's one of those things, it's very difficult. I need to write down, I need to have an A to Z of, uh, of all of the, the place names and how they're pronounced, so that when I do pick a load I know how to pronounce it. I think another reason why I have not clattered into stuff and been driving all over the shop is because I haven't been distracted by my other devices, my iPad and iPhone. Uh, just meant I'm not 
less weaving. Focusing on the road ahead. I am um, one of the things I've noticed actually uh, with regard to SCS and the their their new game, American Truck Simulator, is a lot of vitriolic hate, which is utterly unnecessary about how the game isn't different enough from Euro Truck Simulator 2. I'm not being funny, but I'm not entirely sure what these people expected. But they keep asking for things which are either silly, uh, demanding, sorry, insisting, demand. I, the entitlement of people just sickens me to my stomach. But demanding stuff from a from a pub from a tiny little publisher like SCS just makes my blood boil. But some of the things they're asking for just don't make any bloody sense. Getting out of your truck. I'm sorry. What on earth would you want to get out of your truck in a driving game? I can't think of another sodding driving game where you where you get out of your truck. You don't get out of your truck in Gran, Gran Turismo. You don't get out of your truck in your car. Sorry, you don't get out of your car in Gran Turismo. You don't get out of your car in Need for Speed, apart from that one disastrous entry. You don't get out of your car in Drive Club. You don't get out of your car in... Oh, you swine. You don't get out of your car in... Of course, now I've lost all my sudden momentum. Oh, hello. No, 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 no. I've got momentum. Enough momentum to get past this, hopefully. Oh, please. 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 <laughs> Um, you don't get out of your car in Project Cars, you don't get out of your car in a set of Corso. So why on earth would the developers ask us to get out of our car in flipping, out uh, of our truck in American Truck Simulator or Euro Truck Simulator 2? It doesn't make any sense, it's not what the game is about, it's a driving game for crying out loud. Grow up really annoys me. Oh, more money, vendor spills discovered. Apologies if that's mispronounced. Um, is there a discoverable? Let's just quickly check. There is a discoverable. But it's past our... No. Reset navigation. We will live without it. We will do that after we've... Um, uh, we'll do that before we repair and sleep. Yes! In one go! Oh my god! If you've been watching the American Truck Simulator the videos that I've been putting up, you'll know that my parking in that game has been beyond atrocious. Utterly, utterly atrocious. So to actually do that in that fashion just makes me so, so happy. So happy. Like you wouldn't believe. Right, so let's... Uh, let's um, Unhook this cargo. Did we get an excellent? Oh, we got an excellent! A four, nearly a 45 hour journey. So now, for me, normally those journeys are just an absolute minefield. I don't, can't remember the last time a long journey has, has resulted in an excellent. So, we delivered, uh, we got an excellent for delivering low bed semi trailers from Frankfurt and mine to Ventspils. 
we drove 1,863 kilometers. It took us 44 hours and 48 minutes. We used 740.2 liters of fuel, for which we got a base reward of 29,841 pounds and 1,863 XP. We got a proficiency bonus for level 23 of 10,294 pounds. A long distance delivery bonus for skill rank 4 of £5,880 and 465 XP and a bonus for parking the trailer of 45 XP. But at this point, oh my god, like given that our grand total was £46,016 and our XP total for this journey was 2,373 XP, the 45p XP was irrelevant, but it's just colossally exciting for the parking to be such a tiny part of our journey, given that we're in American Truck Simulator, and I hate to keep harping on about American Truck Simulator, but half of my journey, half of the video has been parking, because I've been so ups uh, uh, just appalling at it. Anyway, so all of that means that we, although we're still a level 23 master, we have rocketed towards level 24 giving the uh, the G27 Road Warrior a lifetime experience of 61,839 XP. Uh, we're still aiming at 62,500 as our level 24 goal. But um, that was a very gratifying journey from uh, Frankfurt and mine to a new part of the map in Latvia through another new part of the map, which I think was Moldova. Um, but I'll clarify that in the next video because I'll actually look at the map and work it out for myself um, because, you know, idiot boy that I am I could have actually looked at that when we were uh, when we were uh, taking, accepting the journey and I was looking at the map anyway, um, if you have enjoyed this video then please press that like button uh, if you would like to see more of these videos then um, please hit the subscribe button if you have friends who you think might enjoy these videos then, um Please tell them about uh, about MovieScars 007 and MovieScars Trucking. And uh, as always, until I see you in the next video, I'll see you on the road.